Okay, now here's a uh, slightly challenging question, but one I'd really like for you to give a crack. Uh, and make sure that you can you can understand where we're coming from here. Now here's a uh, discrete random distribution. Um, now x can be any value from one to seven, and the probabilities of each of those values occurring are 0 0.1, 0 0.1, a, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, b, and 0 0.2 for seven. Now um, Obviously, we don't know A and B. Now, just read the question. Find the values of A and B of the following probability distribution if the expected value is equal to 4.29. Okay, so we know the expected value, but we have two unknowns, two things that we don't know. Uh, now, this question gets a little bit complicated. Uh, there's a simultaneous equation that pops up in here somewhere. Uh, so you really need to be on the ball here. Now... What do we know about this? First of all, we know that it's a probability distribution. Uh, uh, so for this to be a probability distribution, all of these values are going to have to add up to 1. So we know that uh, 1 equals 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 plus a plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2 plus b plus 0.2. Okay, so looking at my numbers here, just make this a little easier. 0 0.1, 0 0.1, that's 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.7, and 0 0.9. It looks like all together here we end up with, just double check that, 2, 4, 7, 8, 9. So 1 equals 0 0.9 plus A plus B, and I can move that 0 0.9 to this side, I get 0 0.1 equals A plus B. So there's a nice little piece of information that I have. I know that the sum of A and B are definitely going to be 0 0.1. Now the other thing I know is my expected value. I know that my expected value is equal to 4.29. This is going to take a little more work. I'm not looking forward to this. Uh, now my expected value is 4.29. And I know that 4.29 is equal to this times this plus this times this plus this times this plus this times this, this times this, this times this, this times this. So it's going to be 1 times 0 0.1 plus 2 times 0 0.1 plus 3 times A plus 4 times 0 0.3 plus 5 times 0 0.2 plus 6 times B plus 7 times 0 0.2. All right, calculator time. So that's going to be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 3a, 1.2, 1, 6b, and 1.4. Uh, dive into that calculator again. Now each of these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, those numbers add up to 3.9. I also have a 3a and I have a 6b. And don't forget that 3.9 plus 3a plus 6b is equal to 4.29. So 4.29 equals 3.9 plus 3a plus 6b. That means that 4.29 minus 3.9, I'm just moving that 3.9 over here, equals 3a plus 6b. Now 4.29 minus 3.9 equals 0 0.39 and we know that 0 0.39 equals 3a plus 6b okay really useful thing to have hopefully we can start to see maybe this will make our life a little bit easier we should start to see that what we have here is a classic simultaneous equation problem we know that 0 0.1 equals a plus b, and we know that 0 0.39 equals 3a plus 6b. Now we just need to solve these two equations simultaneously. Um, you can do that uh, using a variety of different methods. You can use substitution, you can use elimination, or of course you can use your calculator. Now I might just use elimination here. It's probably been a little while since you guys have used it. Uh, I'm going to subtract one equation from the other. but before before I do that, I'm going to take equation 1 and multiply the whole thing by 3. 
that's going to make that 0 0.3. I just multiplied that by 3. That's going to make that 3a. And that's going to make this 3b. Uh, that's my new equation 1. Now if I subtract this equation from this equation, so 0 0.3 minus 0 0.39, that's going to be negative 0 0.0. 9, 3a minus 3a, that's going to cancel out, so it's going to be 0 there, and 3b minus 6b is going to be minus 3b, and that means that 0 0.09 is equal to 3b, just getting rid of those negatives, and that means that 0 0.09 divided by 3 equals b. And finally, that means that b is equal to 0.03. All of this work to find out that this value, the probability that you'll get a 6 if you play this game or whatever it is that this uh, probability distribution is talking about, the probability of that happening is 0.03. Now I can do a little more maths here, but um, we know from this formula, I might just change to a different color here, we know that from this formula 0.1 equals a plus b, so using that formula, 0 0.1 equals a plus 0 0.03. That means that a equals 0 0.1 minus 0 0.03. So a equals 0 0.07. So the value of a is 0 0.07. Uh, so just when you answer this, make sure that you say A is equal to 0 0.07, B is equal to 0 0.03. Uh, that completes this uh, particularly challenging question. Uh, there's some questions just like it in your textbook that you can try out.